Have you ever wondered what's the logic behind the divisibility rules? Now let's find out the logic behind the divisibility rule 3. Why adding the digits tell you if a number is divisible by 3 or not? Let's break it down. Let's take a number 123. To check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not, first we will add the digits 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equals to 6. If 6 is divisible by 3, then 123 is divisible by 3. This is the divisibility rule for 3. Now let's crack it. How we end up with this shortcut? I am writing 123 in a different form that is 100 times 1 plus 10 times 2 plus 1 times 3. If you add this, it is equals to 123, right? You might have a doubt how I write it. As 1 is in the hundreds place and 2 is in the tens place and 3 is in the units place, I expanded it into this form. Now I am writing 100 as 99 plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus I am writing 10 as 9 plus 1 multiplied by 2 plus I am leaving the 1, 1 multiplied by 3 as 3. Now if I expand it more, it is 99 times 1 plus 1 plus 9 times 2 plus 2 plus 3. Now I am rearranging some of these terms that is 99 times 99 multiplied by 1 and 9 multiplied by 2. If you look properly, the first two terms 99 multiplied by 3 and 9 multiplied by 2 is already divisible by 3 as 99 and 9 are multiples of 3. Now for the whole term to be divisible by 3, the last three terms 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3 should be divisible by 3 now. So if 1 plus 2 plus 3 is divisible by 3, then 123 is divisible by 3. This is the logic behind the divisibility rule 3.